Recently, our client Tommy met his banker to discuss continuing his father's restaurant legacy. In us, he found a partner that understood the importance of passing the torch. First Horizon Bank. Let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash Tommy. Hello, and welcome back to the Potted Together podcast. My name is Adam, and I'm joined by two of my co-hosts that are in the same exact location right now, Becca and Nicole. Woo! <laughs> There's that sound wave. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, major FOMO, but you guys look like you're having fun. We are. Yeah, it's been fun. I got some Nicole's Clean Kitchen action this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. She made me the sweet potato bowl yeah sweet sweet potato bowl with fried egg and it was so good becca chopped the onion i yes i did chop the onion that's all i did i got to use the goggles i have a picture which will be on our page Mm. of her cooking in the kitchen (laughs) so yes be sure to check out our instagram stories today for that proof yeah (laughs) proof that i'm here but yeah it's been an eventful like 24 hours i didn't get on the road until like 1 30 1 45 yesterday yeah. mm-hmm. my dogs had to get groomed and it was a whole thing but the drive should we talk about the drive real quick also there's a squirrel running along the fence i can see that yeah. that's so Becca, funny. those little jerks you drove through probably the city that i originated from in illinois bloomington bloomington yeah. normal yeah mm-hmm. yeah and the thing is i knew that i was driving through towns but like i couldn't really like discern what was what also it was like dark and raining yeah um i think when i drive back it'll be light Mm -hmm. but yeah i mean the towns looked great yeah very open (laughs) yeah there was one gas station right just the one (laughs) honestly don't even know where i was (laughs) (laughs) i couldn't even tell you where i was most of the time i was driving but um i did get pulled over because (gasps) i (laughs) yeah story time adam hasn't heard this story (laughs) Okay. What? It's a good one. Yeah. Buckle in, folks. Yeah, buckle in. So I got pulled over, and a couple weeks ago, I got a park... uh, Not a park... I did get a parking ticket a couple weeks ago, (laughs) but I also got a speeding ticket. And this is very out of character. I want to make that clear. I don't usually get tickets. But um, I got a really hefty speeding ticket, and I was really sad. So I was, like, laying low. I was making sure I was going the speed limit. If anything, five over. Nothing more than that, though. So I was being very cognizant and all of a sudden i see those flashing red and blue lights behind me and i was like come on what gives so i get i get pulled over and the guy comes up he tells me that i had something hanging in my rear view mirror so he had to like pull me over and tell me and i'm like he's like it's illegal in illinois and i'm like okay did you know that no but i have been pulled over in illinois for my license plate light being burned out like who the frick checks that oh my gosh yeah, like so, why it's ridiculous yeah. yeah so i'm just presuming that he was really bored and had nothing better to do i mean he also did sort of allude to the fact that he was bored so um <laughs> he told me that and then also my registration is expired which i need to do that before i leave what do you mean registration being expired like, like my car like sticker? the registration yeah, the the license sticker on my car. Oh. Yeah. And you know what the sticker says? 2020. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> so, um, you might, I, it might be a hefty price. Yeah. I'm like praying that I did register my car. I just didn't put the sticker on. Because why wouldn't I have been pulled over for that? In yeah. two years? Yeah. You but. got lucky. Yeah, because you live in the middle of nowhere. (laughs) Yeah, I don't go anywhere. (laughs) Yeah, and I will say every sticker is different in every state. So maybe they just, maybe Missouri cops aren't familiar with Arizona's sticker. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why they don't. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But yeah, when I got the last like speeding ticket, I think he might have tacked on money for the expired registration. Mm. That's the only reason I can think of why it would be that much. Maybe. I don't know, but... (laughs) <laughs> anyway, this also happened to me when I was in college. My car registration was expired for, like, years, and I had no idea what they were talking about. I kept getting pulled over for it, and I was like, okay, anyway, like, <laughs> I wasn't getting tickets, so it didn't seem serious. <laughs> so, this has happened to me before. I have a track record of forgetting to register my car. Um, I was pretty She's... good at it for a while, though, but I guess when I moved, like, 
Yeah. It all went to hell. But anyway, the the interesting part of the story, Adam, is um, I I didn't have internet reception where I was, like, sitting when I got pulled over. And he's like, oh, that's okay. Like, do you have Geico? And I was like, yeah. So he's like, you can just come sit in my squad car. I'll, I'll pull up your insurance and show you, like, the... The warning. Adam's face Red is flag. like Red flag. big eyes. Let me tell you, Jay's face was the same way. He was like, I'm sorry. What? what? Yeah. Well, little lady, why don't you just come park it in my car? Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, all things considered, he was a nice guy. I think he just wanted to talk to someone, but it was weird because I didn't feel like I could say no. Well, and, and the fact that you were in, literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, by myself. By yourself. It, that's a scary thing, cop or not. Like, yeah, that's totally. Yeah. Yeah, so I went and sat in his squad car. And, and in my mind, I'm like sitting on the edge of the seat, like as close to the door as possible. I'm like, I don't want to look threatening. Like, this is weird. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he, it was literally just small talk while he wrote up the warning. And then he showed it to me on his computer and was like, all right, well, that'll be all. And I'm like, isn't that strange? Okay. I was frantically Googling, is this a normal thing? And apparently, like, like, some cops, some cops do that. But, like, in a forum I was reading, they were saying that, um, like, you're supposed to be patted down before you enter a squad car. Like, they're supposed to. Because for their safety, like, she could have had a gun on her and could have just, like, shot this guy. (laughs) Becky Calhoun with her pistol. (laughs) Sharp shooter. (laughs) Sharp shooter. Uh, Rebecca, when she was telling me the story, she's like, apparently I don't look that threatening. And I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, there was, he I don't even think he, I don't know. Anyway, that shows a lot of my privilege in that that sentiment alone. So, yeah. you know, thankfully I, I didn't feel unsafe. It just, well, I wouldn't say I didn't feel unsafe. I did feel unsafe. I was just more like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Like, I knew everything was going to be fine, but I was just like, that's never happened to me before. So, like, why why am I being asked to enter your vehicle? It's just weird. Like, yeah. you know, so pat weird. down. Like, yeah, it was strange. But, yeah, after Nicole, like, read that other people have done, like, other cops have done it, I was like, okay, so it wasn't, like, a predatory thing. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't, I didn't get, like, a physical warning, which usually has, like, their name on it. Like mm-hmm. a paper. Like, like an, a, you yeah. know, like, to identify who it was. <laughs> and I was like, if that was, like, foul play, I have no way to report who that was. Mm-hmm. Because I don't have a dash cam. I don't have... Well, I don't know how my front dash cam would catch that. But... Yeah. Anyway, I don't know his name and nothing. So I was like, maybe I should, like, note that next yeah. time that ever... If that ever happens to me again. But, like... Yeah. Yeah, if something weird went down, I would have had no way to identify him. So you just so. got a verbal warning or did you get a written warning? He put it in the system. Yeah, it was like technically a written warning, but he just showed it to me. So when they do that, though, when they put it in the system, it's pretty much like, okay, that's why he asked you if you're going on a road trip, because if you get pulled over again, that warning will pop up in the system. Like you already got a warning on this drive. Oh, okay. See, I was wondering because I was like, should I register it before I leave Chicago? Because I don't want to get pulled over again. Yeah. Well, you should. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think you can because you have to get a Missouri you have to either do it through Arizona if you're keeping Arizona plates, right? Well, yeah, but my shipping address is just different. Like, I can have my registration shipped to my Missouri address. Because they'll okay. do, like, where you're registering. And I'll just use my parents' address. Gotcha. Okay. And then... Um, you can do that here? Yeah, because if, if you do it online, then it'll just register that you've done it. And you might not have the sticker yet, but if they p- try to pull up, they'll be like, okay, it's an active yeah. registration. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, and then you can have your registration sent to another address. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what Daniel's been doing, because his is registered in Iowa still. Oh, all right. All right, um, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that was eventful. And then <laughs> I either slid on ice or hydroplaned. I'm not sure, but I almost went into the ditch. Um Oh, God. Yeah, I had one of those, like, fuck, 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 <laughs> moments. Like, <laughs> shit, there's shit, that shit, explicit shit, mark. <laughs> yeah, just, like, repeated, explicit, like, multiple, like, can't even finish the last one before you start the next one. Like, that's what I was doing. And, oh, my God. Um, like, no, I don't think any amount of training could tell you what to do in that moment. It was just no. instinct. Yeah. Like, well, I'm, I'm so glad that you, you didn't end up in a ditch. Yeah, me Jesus. too. But there was a moment where, like, my car was facing the ditch, and I was like, <laughs> like I was like, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> like, Jesus, take Jesus the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. 
<laughs> there was this sense of like, if it happens, it's okay. And so I'm like, maybe it wouldn't be that bad to die then. Because like, what's happening? You're like, okay, anyway. I don't oh, like that I talk. can't have that shit on my conscience. <laughs> But, like, my life kind of flashed before my eyes, and I was like, Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain that feeling, but then I was like, No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scary. Oh, my God. But I didn't do any, like, big movements. Like, I kept the wheel movements, like, really short and mm-hmm. just sort of, like, went with it, I guess. Like, if anything, like, I remember hearing that. But I wasn't thinking that while it was happening. Yeah. Like, I wasn't, like, go with the curve or yeah. whatever. But it happened because I was driving too fast on one of those off-ramp loops. Mm-hmm. I think she hit black ice because it it was raining throughout, like, your whole trip. Yeah. And temperatures were drastically dropping, like, as the night went on. Yeah. And I think that you may have just hit some black ice. Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, because I was like, I, there's, I don't think I hydroplaned because there wasn't enough water mm-hmm. to, like, make that happen. Like, I could still see the asphalt. Yeah. So I don't know. Also, um, my car is not that tough. So, <laughs> so she got you here. She's tough. That happened on the interstate. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. I was getting off of one and onto another, and mm-hmm. it was one of those like big loops. It's like a circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was at night, and it was raining. It was kind of scary. Yeah. yeah. Oof! I'm so glad that you didn't yeah. go in the ditch. Hydroplaning yeah, scares the shit out of me. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, black eyes too. Like, All of it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, props for not hitting any roadkill, though. <laughs> you know, like, if there's they're one positive thing to take out of this. <laughs> yeah, true. they're all asleep. They're, like, not even out. That's, like, the one good thing about winter is, like... That is true. Except for gone. the damn deer. They're yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, the, the deer are out. And it's hard for them to hide. So yeah. They're, like, on the move all the time. Yeah. Frolicking in the snow. Yeah. Yeah, but wait, did I tell you guys about the possum that was, like, dead in my backyard? Ew, no. Well, it's gone now. Oh, like, shit. I think it was playing dead. Yeah, they do, they do that. I think that. we talked about that. Mm-hmm. I don't remember hearing about that. I think it was just playing dead, though, because it, like, it was, it was, like, laying there with its mouth open, and I was like, ew, what is going on here? And it was yeah. just in the woods. I'm like, that's weird. Yeah, maybe the dog scared him. Yeah, I think maybe my dog scared it, and it just, like, passed out. That happened to me. Did I tell that story at the I old house? I so. No. There was Mia takes the dogs out at night, mm-hmm. and there was a possum in our yard apparently, and she let the dogs out, and they just like ran like right up to it, mm-hmm. and she's like, "No, get away!" And then the dogs ran back in the house. Yeah, and she's like, "I don't know if Jazzy heard it, but it's like laying there," and she's like, "I think it's playing dead," and I was like, "Shut up!" Because I didn't know possums <laughs> do this, and I'm like, "Playing dead, yeah." And she's like, "No, they really do it." And I thought she was joking, and I was getting pissed. I was like. <laughs> Jazzy probably killed this possum, you know. <laughs> Two hours later, it was gone. It was like not there. I was like, so I had to Google it because I didn't believe her, and I was like, now I feel bad. Yeah, it's, a, it's on funny. a movie. It's on an animated movie. I can't remember which one, but there's a possums on Ice there. Ice Age, right? Oh, oh Ice Age. Yeah. I think okay. it is Ice Age. Is it Ice Age? But also in Ice Age, the possums like hang from their tails and like <laughs> sleep. So like that's not correct. No. I had to Google that to find out that's not even real. Like thanks Disney or Pixar, whoever made that. Like DreamWorks. I think that's a DreamWorks. DreamWorks, movie. I think. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> Make me look dumb. But anyway, so other than that, that was my week just preparing to come here and i did so much watering yesterday i had a nightmare about thrips so i treated my entire collection with systemic just in case not today satan (laughs) (laughs) um yeah and i've like watered a bunch of stuff and i think that well we're getting a bunch of snow this week well not a bunch well we'll see see. it was supposed to snow here like there's nothing out there though i think it's gonna start it's supposed to start at one Oh. It better start or my daughter's going to kill me. Yeah. I kept her home from school today because they were threatening all this ice and like snow and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she hates missing school. She's got perfect attendance. Oh my gosh. And I was like, I don't like, even if it's not bad in the morning, like I don't want to have to battle that traffic in the The evening. Yeah. And I just didn't want to leave, you know, like with the weather being that bad after experiencing what we went through last time. Yeah. Um, But there's nothing out there right now. So I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Oh my but, god, her being yeah. mad because you kept her home from school. What a nerd. Love it. She's such a nerd. <laughs> I know. God forbid. No, it's the drama. It's like the gossip drama. It's like, oh, God, yeah. for, like if you miss one day of gossip, that's like a year yeah. of, of missed gossip when you're in eighth grade. 
You know, yeah, that's true. I'm like you'll be fine. You'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> so many life events happening. But Adam, what are what are you doing these days? Yeah, what's going on over there? Okay, we miss so you. I miss you guys. Um, I <laughs> I'm getting ready for my Disney trip next week, which I'm really excited about. Disneyland. Woo woo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my friend and I are Disney bounding. So the first day I'm dressing as Flynn Rider from Tangled. Oh, the fun! S- oh, perfect. Fun. I know, my outfits should be completed today. They should be coming in the mail. The second day, I'm going to be Stitch from Lilo and Stitch because it's my favorite movie. <gasps> oh. And then the third day, I'm Disney bounding as Daisy Duck gender bending. So I got a, like a purple shirt, white shorts, <gasps> pink shoes. <laughs> Yeah. Gender bending. Gender bending. I love it. Daisy's like my favorite character at the park. She's so full of sass. If you guys have not seen videos of Daisy Duck at Dis- Disney, like look them up because she is just like. Really? Yeah. All sass. That's funny. Amazing. That's so fun. Wait, what did you call it when you dress up? Disney bounding. Disney bounding. That's so, a thing. <clears throat> yeah. So you dress up like the character but not fully because if you do you'll get kicked out or they won't let you in so it's like a hip version <gasps> mm. of like you know you you look like them but you don't kind of thing yeah okay 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 yeah they'll kick you out wow. um but yeah other than that i've just been you know full on olympics this whole yeah. week always this morning there was some drama in the figure skating and i was living for it <laughs> because really more drama they yes. have enough drama. So the the doper, the girl who was caught with an illegal banned substance who was still allowed to skate for some reason, which is insane to me, but I'm just going to, whatever. Yeah. Uh, she came in first after the short program. And if you're not as, if you're not as into figure skating as I am, <laughs> you have the short program <laughs> and then you have like the free skate, which is the longer program. So they do them on separate nights. So yeah. the short program was first. The doper from Russia was in first place. So at the free skate, she skates last because she was in first place. So it kind of goes in order. Anyway, mm-hmm. awful. She fell all the time. And I felt really bad for her. Really? Yeah. At the bottom of it, she's a 15-year-old. So I feel bad for her because yeah. there's adults mm-hmm. around her doing this. But anyway, so she didn't even scorn the podium, which I was happy about because had she got on the podium, they weren't going to do a medal ceremony because of all of the stuff, you know? Yeah. She got fourth oh. place, which was sad for her, but also Ooh. they did the medal ceremony. And then the another Russian figure skater got second place. And she threw a fit. I mean, she was screaming. She was like, I'm not going out what? there. Like, I'm never skating again. This is, you know, everyone has gold but me, and I don't have a gold. And she was just so upset. And then her other teammate from Russia got gold. It was wild. Oh, I was just like, what is my. going on? But Wait, I was living okay, for it. Okay, do you... Th- <laughs> I hate calling her the doper. What's her... I don't yeah, know, sorry. But <laughs> fourth place... No, no, you're fine. Fourth place, girl. Camila, do you think Camila. She- Okay, Camilla. do you think that Camila threw it? Like, you is know, there any chance that she threw it? Knowing I don't know. What, Maybe. Like, because she's not going to be like, no, oh, they made me do this, blah, 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 because they'd probably kill her. But, like, well, hopefully not, but, you know. Yeah. Metaphorically. It's but, Russia. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> yeah, who knows? But, like, maybe she threw it. Yeah, yeah I like, thought that, too. Because she feels, yeah. Like, PR people. How does people. that happen? How do you fall that much as, like, a... Olympian, like they never fall. No, and when, yeah, when she sh- originally landed, like a quad. Yeah. Yeah. So she did multiple quads, but the thing is, yeah, it was very uncharacteristic because she like has aced everything every time she hits the ice. So part of me was like, I don't know, but she was bawling afterwards, and I felt my heart was breaking for her because again, mm. these stupid adults that are around her are yeah. the ones who have done what they did. Um, but then again, she could have been crying because, like, her coach forced her to do it to kind of, like, mm-hmm. PR, you know? She's 15. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it was wild. I can't even imagine. No. I've, man, I, I just have a feeling that she threw it. Not that I'm an Olympian <laughs> figure skater, but I just don't see a world where that would happen. Yeah. She's either, like, really emotionally distressed and that's why it happened or she threw it. Yeah. Yeah, which I can see both. Like, you know... Literally, she's been the subject of, for a whole week, like, every day, it's just been, like, she shouldn't be here, mm-hmm. she shouldn't be here, everyone knows it. Like, all these other Olympians are saying it's not fair. 
Mm-hmm. Yikes. Big yikes. Mm-hmm. But so yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's been my week. Just, <laughs> just like obsessing yikes. over the Olympics. Just emerged in the Olympics. I love it. Oh, <laughs> it's no different than me any other week emerged in Netflix. Yeah. Because 2020 we're watching 2020 tonight tomorrow oh night my God. oh right right tomorrow friday night. night it's a friday night activity friday night 2020 so oh gosh i I'm thought today was her friday arm, she offered my mom did too she's yeah. like okay. are we gonna watch 2020 pop some popcorn i was like that's tomorrow mom <laughs> she's very excited about it it oh feels like God. friday maybe me coming has like thrown everybody off because you came a day early yeah mm-hmm yeah. Okay. But also, Adam, as we've started this conversation, it is like snowing really hard. It's a blizzard, <gasps> big, like, like white big out. snow. Like it's big it's fluffy. Little. It's oh. little, but it's a lot sideways. Yeah. It's like clusterfuck snow. <laughs> oh, like snow globe. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. So yeah. I'm happy about that because now I could be like, see. Told Wait. You so. Are you guys gonna do a photo <laughs> shoot in the snow? Oh. Ooh. We didn't have that on the plan. Well, that's a plan. That's I do. Plan. I definitely plan on taking some pictures because we're we're running a little low on content for yeah. the Instagrams. That's one of the bad things about us living apart is we can't just get together to take pictures, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> or any for any other reason. Yeah. Um. But just yeah, give me just give me the focal length of the lens. I'll take a green screen photo and you can just <laughs> insert it in. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. There we go. I'm down for that. Here we go. But yeah, should we? I mean, are we? Are we already ready for the topic? Yeah, we didn't even talk about the topic. We were just so excited about chattiness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. You're leading. Okay, folks. Our topic today is plant DIYs. And yes. uh, truth be told, we already recorded this, and that was just the lost <laughs> episode. So. <laughs> We're going at it again, but it's, episode. <laughs> it's okay. I forgot what I even said. Nicole's like, oh, I wrote down notes. And I was like, okay, share them with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a month ago. It's like we've all forgotten. So it's like, okay. It's kind of a new episode for us because yeah. I don't remember what I said. So I'm going to revert to my notes. Yeah. But yeah. So we're going to talk about some great DIYs that you can do around your house for your plants. I think they were all plant related, weren't they? Fully. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Save some coin and uh, just be a building babe. So, yeah. Yeah. Be a building babe. Yeah. Well, Adam, do you want to share yours first? Your first DIY? Yes. My first DIY is uh, my namesake, macrame, not dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that macrame, it actually is pretty simple once you get the basics down you basically have a few different knots Mm -hmm. that you can do but making your own plant hangers is just a way to really save money because while i do agree that they should be sold from makers like at a good cost you know they can be kind of expensive Mm -hmm. but those people are putting work into it you know Mm -hmm. so it's important um you could do it yourself you know just buy some cord you can buy some what's that oh jute you can make a jute plant hanger yeah Mm -hmm. so uh that is probably one of my favorite diys Mm -hmm. i like the jute ones like they look like more rustic yeah you know yeah and i was also thinking like you could use i was trying to think like of making a fabric one there's just so many things you can yeah like anything like stringy yeah yeah Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about this because I know you could rock up to like Kohl's World Market and buy a macrame plant hanger for like ten, fifteen dollars. But Becca, yeah. when you when you posted on your I think it was on your Daily Creations that TikTok of that guy who uh, spoke about Oh yeah. The knitted sweater from Target. Like the grandma squares. Yeah, the crochet. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, okay, I don't think I would ever not that I'm going to judge anyone that does, but if you go into a store and buy a macrame plant hanger for $10, like, what did the person... That has to be handmade. And what did that person get paid to make it if you're selling it for yeah. $10? Yeah. Right, right. It's yeah. it's honestly shocking when you think about it. Yeah, because honestly... Like, how I, much did that person get paid? Because there has to be a profit margin of at least 50% for world market, so... Yeah. Yeah. And At least 50 
I didn't, I mean, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I didn't really think about it until you posted that video. And then I was like, and he broke down and I was just like, holy mm -hmm. crap. Oh, I need to see this TikTok. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll show it to you. It's something to be embarrassed about, honestly. Nobody, like, not that many people even think about it because we're so used to just things being available. Mm hmm And, but those, like, handmade, those items that are literally handmade, cannot be made by a machine, are becoming really valuable right now. Yeah. Like, I mean, macrame has been valuable for a while, but, like, crochet, stuff like that's crochet, like, granny square clothing is, like, super popular right now. Mm-hmm. And there isn't a machine that can do that. So, wow. like, knit garments can now be made through a machine. There's, like, a machine that does that. But crochet can't be re replicated with a machine. So wow. anything that you see on the market that's crochet has been handmade. That's amazing that it hasn't been replicated to a machine. I yet. know. In, like, the world we live in now, I'm surprised it's not. Yeah. But also, how amazing is that? Like, that's great. Yeah, it's cool. But you should not be purchasing cheap clothing that's been made like that yeah i mean and some people don't have a choice which is like a whole thing oh yeah it's a whole part of it yeah it's just it sucks that that's what like that's what it has to be mm -hmm. i don't know it just sucks so yeah, yeah. so if yeah. you if you don't want to make a macrame plant hanger i mean okay to each their own do do what's best for you and your financial situation and your and whatever but Support yeah. local, support handmade, support small shops. Like, there's plenty out there. Mm -hmm. um, when you but can, yeah. yeah. They're quite easy to make. So, honestly, just watch some YouTube tutorials. We may or may not have a video out at some point <laughs> about it. <laughs> okay, Adam, like, listen, even with my new computer, you know how long it took me to download your footage? <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. This is all your fault. No, I'm kidding. This is completely my fault. No, no it's my fault. Laughing. Because no, no, I no have, it's not. I have fast internet and it took like seven hours to upload and I was like, shit. Oh, shit. So triple that. Yeah. Um, oh. No. no, I don't know. I started downloading it here because I'm sure that your Wi-Fi is oh, better. Oh, yeah. Because I tried to download it at my house and it just wasn't working. Okay. So and then I kind of forgot about it actually until Nicole and I took a break to do some work this morning. And I was like, oh, I guess I can edit that macrame video. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so maybe it'll be up. Maybe it won't. By the time this is out, it, it should be. It's I don't want you list. to have to do a lot of work here, though. I want you to, like, do nothing. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will. Okay. I promise. I, I got a lot of my personal stuff done, and then I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> macrame. Like, it just completely slipped my mind. So that's a, no, that's, that's a my that's bad. Cool. I'm sorry. To... To you two <laughs> and the audience. Who is not even to... like, where the freak is this video? <laughs> they understand. You do not have to apologize to us. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> there are so many macrame tutorials out, and that's how I learned from YouTube. So it can mm -hmm, be done. Yeah. yeah, me too. It can be done. And it's fun. It's yeah. gratifying to make something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, your arms definitely get tired, but it's also like, yeah, you're right. You just like, you're proud of yourself, and it's like, you feel accomplished. You just nailed it. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Well, I'll go next if that's okay. Um, yes. One of mine I was actually, we were talking about this yesterday, is I think I might be getting a Mills bow cabinet. And I feel like that's a DIY because you can do so much to it. Like you could do different things to it, mm -hmm. you know, and like you have your pegboard in the back of yours, mm -hmm. which is a great idea. Yeah. <clears throat> I know on Pinterest, People have like a ton of different DIYs for the Mills bow. Oh yeah, different setups. And if you look up the Mills bow cabinet on Etsy, there's a lot of people who make custom. Oh, see, that's stuff. cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And that's supporting small business too. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's a kind of expensive, but you know. I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. But I, but I mean, I think that that's totally like you're taking a shell of a cabinet and you're creating your own mm -hmm. little greenhouse essentially in your house you know so totally i'm definitely considering getting one and the white ones are in stock at my ikea wait should we go like tomorrow oh, oh. No. <clears throat> should yeah, we get I... another one just to, oh. to <laughs> <laughs> i feel like there was like a nationwide restock because i've seen a lot of like arizona groups of people are like oh i just got this mills bow and they're trying to get rid of like other ones that they bought when they couldn't buy a mills bow like there's a oh like, a like the red short, yeah so they're trying to oh. sell those off, yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. I, I like the red stuff, honestly. Me too. I think it looks nice. I haven't seen, I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen that. It's like skinnier. Okay. It's like that skinny one, which I've considered. Oh, the one, like the one door? 
I yeah, I think that's one mm-hmm. of the versions. I don't know. Does the red stone have like a two door version too? I don't. I don't yeah, think it does. Yeah, I think it has a tall, skinny one. But then there's another one. Maybe it's not red stud. That's like wide but short, so it's not very tall. It's so it's almost like oh, the short Millsbo. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's still a Millsbo, but just a short version. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I want another one, but I don't know where I'd put it. Next to your one. Does, that doesn't take up your whole wall, does it? It does. Oh, it does? It's like the space between the two oh, doors. Oh, because you have the closet yeah. there, the pantry. Yeah. yeah. Your, your office. I don't know. Yeah, I could put it in my office. That's true. Or upstairs in my room or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, if the fungus gnats go, though, <laughs> Daniel's going to be like... <laughs> oh, that's true. What can Fake we plants do only about in my these bedroom. <laughs> yeah. fungus gnats? Actually... That would probably be better for my marriage if I didn't have, like, real plants in my bedroom. I I really think he'd freak out. I don't blame him. Yeah, Jay would, too. Jay would, too. Um, yeah. uh, Wild Fern did a video a long time ago where she got, or maybe she posted on Instagram, but she got, like, this uh, stainless steel shelf for her Millsbo that was, mm-hmm. like, had her logo cut into it. Yeah. What? And it's it was so a, cool. It's like a, yeah. Sorry. No, no, go. You're I was gonna, sorry. I was I gonna say wanna... it was a company in Europe, and so I, my friend, has a Millsbo, so I was gonna try to buy her one of those, but it doesn't ship to the U.S. But it was so Ugh. cool. I'm sure there's someone in the U.S. that does it, too. It was yeah. like stainless steel, right, Becca? Yeah, like black stainless steel, and wow. it says like wild fern. Oh, that's really cool. And she had a code for a while too. I'm sure maybe it's in her highlights. If the code is still valid, maybe. Hmm. Um. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. There's there's like corner shelves. I want to look into the corner shelves because it'll be just like on the. That would be cute. Yeah, because like the thing with them is, is like using the space well. Mm-hmm. And like maximizing, maximizing it. it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. At first, I was like, I want it to look really beautiful and not have too many plants in it. But now I'm like, everything in the mills bow. <laughs> it's like my grow box. Just yeah. get in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, but, Becca. What about you? Okay. Let me see the list here. Um, <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Light bulb oh moment. I don't even, right, that's what it was. Um, I love your voices okay, so, you, so much. Like, you do so many of them, and they're just the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Thank um. you. <laughs> um, okay, so if you saw my green wall DIY video, I made, like, these... Um, plant poles Mm -hmm. basically where this two by two by eight piece of wood is drilled into the studs on my wall so it's a horizontal across my wall and then I drilled on flower pot hooks like in increments like every like nine and a half inches or so and that was sort of like a way to hang plants on my wall without putting a million holes in my wall I mean, I definitely still put, like, a (laughs) hole in every single stud, but that's four holes as opposed to nine or ten, or ten holes, yeah. So, it's less work if I ever want to change that. That's a really good idea, Mm -hmm. because I feel like that's maximizing your wall space, Mm -hmm. because I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have looked for a stud and drilled a a hole for Mm -hmm. a pot just and hung it there, but then it would be all uneven, and it's like, having that two-by-four... It's it acts as a stud. Totally, so, like, you can just you fill can put it. them anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's such a good idea. Also, Nicole, maybe you could do something like that on your big wall downstairs, downstairs and have, you know, that grow light from what's that grow light company like the really nice Soltech 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 Solutions. Oh, yeah, yeah the, you know how the they have a the track light. light? Mm. Yes, you do a green wall with it. I mean, it'd be an investment for that. The track light. I think it's expensive. Yeah, Soul Tech Solutions is expensive. Yeah. I, looked I looked up the like track light. I think it's like three eighty or something for. Th- but I mean, it's gonna last forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a cool way to use that, and then you could film in front of it. Yeah, or you oh, could try to get really sponsored. Nice. Just reach out. Yeah, and be like, look, I, I have this just, idea. I was thinking that. I wasn't gonna yeah. say it, but I was thinking it. Maybe you could DIY your own track light thing, though, too. I'm I'm no I'm no Becky Calhoun, but I can as soon try. as you said that, I saw that look in her eye, and she was like, <laughs> yeah, "Bitch, I ain't doing that." Like, You're funny. <laughs> I'll just buy it immediately. No, immediately no. Immediately no. <laughs> You're done. Well, maybe we can work on it. Maybe we could do a video together, and I can make you a green wall. Oh my god! Stop. That could be a project that we can do. 
Oh. And I can put it on my channel. Like, you're talking about, like, this weekend? She's got ambition, guys. I mean, do you have a drill? Yeah, we have a drill. I think we could make that happen if you oh wanted to. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, yeah, we'll see. Let me think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, Becca just oh. wants to build something. Yeah, yeah we, she's the fucking Joanna Gaines of plants, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think about it. Yeah, Okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. We, no, no pressure. I don't want you. To I feel mean, awkward. I may, okay. I may, I may take you up on this offer. Yeah, I mean, it'd be fun. Yeah, and it's that would not be hard. really fun. Yeah, it's not hard. Okay, let me know. I'm not gonna ask because I just I don't want to make it awkward. And if you want to, you bring it up. I will. <laughs> okay. Becca, I feel that so deep in my soul. <laughs> you guys are such oh fours. Like, I don't want you to think that I want to do it so bad so that you feel like you have to do it. You don't have to explain to me what's going on in your head. I already know both of you guys oh. way too well. Oh my God. It's like uh, every time I text someone, I'm like, hey, would you want to do this thing? But you you don't have to. Like, I don't care if you say no. Just say no. Just know that Just it's say okay. It. Say no, actually, please. Actually say no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, um, I'm crying. I've been wanting to do a green wall install for someone else, so yeah. Okay. Oof. Anyway, that's you come so to cool. me. So <laughs> yeah, that- I'm gonna have to convince Jay. That's you the come, one. That's you the- come to me. <laughs> we'll have to convince Jay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, he seemed like pretty open to do something on that wall. Yeah. Or was the- he being nice? No. Okay. He's, he's open to it. I mean, he loves the idea of having plants down there. Yeah. I just don't think that he'd be a fan of fungus gnats. Yeah. But... Uh, build a bridge. I don't really it. have... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> true. I don't really have that big of an issue with fungus gnats, though. Uh, okay. It's like they come and go. Yeah. I mean, they're not a forever thing. Yeah. And you have that utility sink, so it'd be so easy to take oh care of them all. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Would. You just throw the plants over the utility sink or with your plant folio or just plant stick them folio. in the sink. Yeah, that's like that alone right there. You have a whole watering station already. I'd have a filming space. Okay, you can cut a lot of that out. Like that was a lot of banter. No, that's fine. If you want, don't. Oh, feel I forgot. Obligated. I forgot to mention. <laughs> Leave it in. Uh, it was so funny. We wa- Steve and I were watching your Indianapolis plant shopping video because that's where Steve's from. Is Indianapolis? Oh, oh really? I didn't know that. And like, oh, maybe I did. He's such a dork, and I love him so much. But he, as we're watching your video, he's like Google mapping what where you were, and he was like, "Oh, well, she's really <laughs> south." And then she, and then the next, the next plant shop, he's like, "Oh, she's in like the cool area of town." And I was just like, <laughs> "Oh my gosh!" There were so many places that I wanted to go in Indianapolis, but they were just too far out of the city. Yeah. Like, yeah. if I wanted to get more places, I'd have to go like stick to the city. Which you, I was sad. You went kind of far, though, for one of them. Like, it was like a... Wasn't it like a two-hour or an hour drive? No, 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah. Like, the most that I would drive for one of those is maybe, like, 30 minutes out oh, of where okay. I'm staying. Okay. Um, but, yeah, 20 minutes. It wasn't too bad, but it was definitely in the suburbs. Yeah. Like, it was definitely suburbs. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, okay, so that's my... Jeez, that was a long answer. <laughs> no. Sorry. Um, if you're looking to have... Becca commissioned to do a green wall for you. She's clearly hit me available. Up. <laughs> <laughs> hit me up. You come to me. You come to me. The offer's there. Just tell me. <laughs> the offer's there. It stands. Um, I can I, come back. <laughs> if you haven't seen Becca's video, you you need to go see it because oh, the DIY plant wall, the the plant room mm-hmm. makeover because it's so mm-hmm. cool and my next DIY kind of goes along with Becca's in that she only put a very few amount of holes in her wall to maximize space and i think that's genius i did the same thing with my plant hanger that's in my living room so i wanted plants to hang from the ceiling but i didn't want to have like eight different hooks so i just did two hooks on two studs and put a rope with a copper pipe that i just got cut at lowe's i think it was Actually, mm-hmm. I had to buy the copper pipe and cut it myself because you have to buy like a copper cutter, which is it's a really easy to make handle. You just kind of tighten it on and just like spin it around it and it kind of scores it like glass and mm-hmm. you can just break it. Mm-hmm. 
But that was a way to have like a hanging bar so then all of my hanging plants could go on that bar instead of into the ceiling itself. So it was just two ceiling hooks. One is in a stud, mm -hmm. the other one is in an anchor. And uh, it's been up there since I've been here in Arizona, so almost three years, and it's no issues, you know? Do you yeah. try to, like, be conscious of not hanging your pots up there, like, after a fresh water, or do you find it holds weight pretty well, being in the studs? That's funny, because every time I water, like, one of my big Hoyas that's on there, I'm just like, ooh, this is heavy, but I'm like, oh, well. And I just, like, click, clip it up there and walk <laughs> away. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, you use S-hooks, though, too, right? Yeah. Like, S-hooks around, like, the macrame hoop? Yeah. Yeah, that's I do. That's nice. Yeah, that's so a good So they would idea. sit, like, that. like, the right way, or the way that I wanted mm -hmm. them to, instead of being, like, weird, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like your setup. Amanda Ray Wright does that in her living room, too. Mm -hmm. She has a video on her Instagram where she showed her installing it, and it's yeah. it's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I just think it's a cool way to use your windows without making it too crowded. Mm -hmm. Like... The windowsill look is fun, but at the same time, I kind of don't like the way that it looks. Plus, hanging plants like look so much better hanging, yeah, than sitting on a shelf in your window, you know, or yeah. trailing plants, I should say. Yeah. I kind of feel that same way, Becca, because like this window is kind of on the side of the house, so when you look at it, you literally just see our, our retaining wall between us and the neighbor. So yeah. I'm fine with it, like not being viewable, but my front window. There was a moment where I had a lot of plants in there, and I kind of just felt a little bit suffocated. Like, I wanted that light to come more mm -hmm. into the house, so. Yeah. Yeah, and you also have those UV things on your windows, yeah. right? Yeah, I do. Has that, I mean, it obviously hasn't affected your plants, huh? I remember we talked about that a long time ago, and you weren't sure how it would. Yeah. But it hasn't. No. Like, no, negatively. I mean, it still gets pretty bright light in there, less so if they were off. You know, if they were off, obviously, it would be blasting, but it keeps our house, you know, energy efficient more energy efficient yeah which is needed because that's like facing south too right yeah yeah your house would be absolutely boiling yeah because i don't even south window especially because i pull the shades all the way up like you know i don't even just yeah. open the shades i pull them all the way up so it's just like completely open window yeah mm -hmm. all right so something that i saw online which i haven't tried but i thought it was really cute was a veggie stand like a veggie cage that you use in garden beds mm -hmm. like those circular ones flipped upside down uses a plant stand mm -hmm. i think that's so cute like you could just snip off the bottom stakes that go in the soil mm -hmm. and you can use it as a plant stand like you could spray paint it any color you want you could decorate mm -hmm. it they have wooden ones too i think they do so like I think so. Mm. Yeah, I think you could get, like, when gardening season comes around, you could probably find, like, triangle trellises. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I think that that'd be really cool to try, like, mm -hmm. to have outside, even, you know, like mm -hmm. around the garden area. I think that's a cute DIY to do. Or to yeah. Test out. And it gives yeah. good, it gives good height to, like, your collect, uh, as far as, like, you have varying oh, yeah. height in your plants with those kind of things instead of just having it all on one level yeah. if you care about that <laughs> yeah it looks better visually to have plants in stands yeah like above the off of the ground for sure i don't think you have any plants just sitting on the ground i don't i i used to that was like a lot of my plants were just sitting on the ground and it's i don't think i have any anymore mia has a big shufflera plant in her room and I have it on like a little stand now, but she had it on the ground for a long time and it was like next to her window and I feel like they get more of the cold from the floor oh. and the wall too. So I, that's why I feel like elevating them mm -hmm. helps with that too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It puts I mean, you more in your line of vision as well. Right. She can't have plants on the floor, Becca, because how can she mop every Tuesday and Thursday mornings? <laughs> how did you, how did you know her mopping schedule? You mop every Tuesday and Thursday? I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like, okay, whoa. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't remember the last time I mopped my house. I honestly, listen, if I'm being honest, and I know you guys are going to laugh for five minutes after this, <laughs> but I, you can ask Jay, I never mopped my floors. Yeah. Like, it was very rare that I mopped. I Swiffer, I vacuum. Yeah. But mopping is such a project yes. like i don't know what it is about the process of mopping i hate it 
Mm-hmm. So I everyone know. Does that. Same. Yeah, uh, it doesn't surprise me. But I love um, the smell of pine salt. So like that's my motivation for mopping because I'm just like, oh, okay, ooh. give me that pine yeah. salt. Okay. Yeah. I use method, the cleaning okay. method. Yeah. Um, the almond flavored one. <sighs> flavored. Flavored. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was watching this TikTok from a cleaning account and she was saying like the Swiffer is great for like spot cleaning and whatever. But like she was cleaning a kitchen and she's like, let me show you what the Swiffer doesn't get. And I was like, oh no, don't, no. don't say it. No. <laughs> um, I have I have like an off-brand Swiffer with like a washable pad thing. Oh yeah. And like I see the stuff that comes up and I'm like, okay, this works. Like yeah. it's doing something. Clearly. Something is happening. <laughs> so like I'm glad to use it. But um, <laughs> she got like a, like a scrub daddy. I don't know. One of those scrub parent things uh-huh. and um like a degreaser and the amount of crap that she was pulling off oh. of that kitchen floor i don't even i don't want to watch it yeah and like i'm sure maybe the tenant was gross yeah because they were renters okay well they're not i mean that's mean because renters are not <laughs> always gross maybe they're i should say college boy renters <laughs> <laughs> yes me and my roommates were very clean renters me and daniel were very clean renters i shouldn't say that <laughs> You know what I mean, though, oh, right? Oh, gosh. Yeah. The fart cupping going on in that apartment, I tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> fart cupping, college boy, needing their floors degreasing, renters. <laughs> degreasing. Mm. Uh, but I'm sure that if you were to take a degreaser to your floor, nothing would come up. Because I doubt it's... that. Oh. Listen. <laughs> Nicole made breakfast this morning, and... Um, the the stovetop is pristine, by the way. Yeah, of course. And um, <laughs> yeah, so she finished cooking, and I was like, "Oh man, like, what do you do to keep this so clean?" And she like showed me the product. I'm like, "Great, I'm gonna buy it." And then she goes, "Yeah, we wash it after every time." And <laughs> after she was done cooking, like, it did not look any different. Like, there was nothing on it, and she still had to scrub it. I'm like, keyword oh. had to because this is this is not it's not me. It's my mom. It's mama clean leaves. You have to clean it after every time or it's going to get embedded. I'm like, okay. She's probably right. Yeah, I just don't I mean, really care about these things. Looking at mine, <laughs> uh, it does get in. Something happens. <laughs> yeah. Something is happening in mine. Because, like, I try to clean it. I get, like... And I, at our old apartment, we also had a glass top and we were like scrubbing it, but yeah. it scratched it. And we're yeah. like, oh shoot. Mm-hmm. And like Daniel being the kind and honest person he is, he like sent a picture to our landlord and was like, we're so sorry. Can we replace this? Oh God. And they were like, no, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> she got like $2,500 yeah, like, to buy a new one. I think you can just replace the glass top though. Can you? Yeah. I hate, I just hate electric stoves. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but the, I think the glass top is better than the coils. Oh, yeah. For sure. The coils, not it. For sure. Aesthetically. Yeah, definitely. And cleaning-wise. You can't clean that. No, you can't clean it. Yeah. No. I'd rather have gas. Mo- okay, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> we didn't have a lot of, like, ketchup banter, so we're doing it throughout mm-hmm. the episode. <laughs> um, <sighs> okay, Becca, you're up. Okay. Yes, so... <laughs> The next plant DIY that I did that is like, honestly, I still, like, it makes me laugh how funny it looks, but it's another plant stand while we're on the subject, I suppose. So I had these like wood slits, like slabs from my wedding. I, I bought like a bunch of them because we had a forest wedding, like, mm-hmm. you know, fits with the theme. And like, they're not gonna, I didn't want to throw them away. So, I mean, I could burn them, but I don't know. Anyway, so I still have a bunch of them and I was trying to find ways to use them. And I was like, well, what if I made like a live edge plant stand? So I drilled like three of them together and then I went to Menards and they had just like legs, Mm -hmm. like chair legs or stool legs that you can just buy like already done and then little brackets. And I just did that and it was so easy. I love those, those wooden circles. Yeah. I mean, you could buy those. You had so many of them. Yeah. Like that's the perfect thing to do with those, I think. Yeah. Or like you could put like little tiny legs on it and like, put it like as like a centerpiece on your table Mm -hmm. but i love those yeah i was also thinking of like drilling them not drilling um cutting them in half Mm -hmm. and then putting them on my wall like as little half shelves oh my gosh that'd be adorable yeah that would be even like going up your stairwell or something or like your stair 
love yeah. that idea. You could also drill like three holes in it and then do kind of like macrame top hanger and then just put the rope oh, down and yeah. tie a knot mm-hmm. and it'll be like a flat sitting shelf that's like hanging. Yeah. Look at you guys combining yeah. your DIYs into one. Our DIY skills. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. This episode's going much better than the first recording. <laughs> it is. It is. Honestly, it is. <laughs> Um, it, it really is. But yeah, so that's something I did. And you could easily, like if you, I mean, you can thrift a stool, but if you want to make one, mm-hmm. you know, you could buy just like a piece of round wood from the craft store for maybe like five, ten bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then legs. And then there you have a stool that you made and you got to see how a stool is made. Like, I feel like DIY, like half the fun of DIY is just knowing how things are made mm-hmm. and like just doing it because it's not always cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like. True. Not always cheaper. It is sometimes, but not always. Yeah, true. It's this sense of accomplishment. Yes. Yeah. But that's my next one. Fun. The next thing that uh, I think would be a great, just experience all around, but a good DIY would be just to like take a, take a pottery throwing class and make your own plant pots, like cash po, cash po or even you know, putting a drainage hole in it because you, you can do that since you're throwing it on the wheel. But I did a, yeah. mm-hmm. I, I did a pottery throwing class. I mean, I sucked like really <laughs> bad. I just, I don't think pottery throwing is for me, but it was really fun. So like we were having, it was like mm-hmm. wine and you could do it all you wanted for like three hours. And I think I only came out with two pieces, but <clears throat> it's fun. like a fun yeah. t- date night idea. It's a fun, like girls night kind of thing. And also, you can make mm-hmm. stuff for your plants, so. Yeah, that mm-hmm. that is fun. I was thinking about that the other day and, like, thinking of looking into what places around here does that, you know? Mm-hmm. It's almost like a paint and sip, but it's pottery and sip. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The pottery would be more useful, too, because what do you do with those paintings? Yeah. yeah. That's probably why I've never gone to one of those, because yeah. I'm like, one, it's not going to look that great. Yeah. <laughs> and am I going to want to hang this up? Probably not. No. So, yeah, pottery. Wait. Pottery and sip. Becca, didn't you and Daniel do that? You guys both had your paintings up in your living room? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Daniel wanted to like... hang them up. But those were cute. They, they were cute. They were not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were. It's like, it's one of those things that you'd hang, like, in the basement where the kids play. You know? <laughs> but it's not, like, a home decor item. And yeah. also, though, you can, like, choose what painting you want to do, like, depending on what day you go. And we didn't know that, so we just walked in, and that was the painting. And I was like, oh, I probably wouldn't have chosen that. Oh, okay. But, you know. See, I feel like with pottery, you can pick your own clay color yeah. and, like, all that, you know? Yeah. I mean, and even if you're in an area that doesn't have, like, a class like that, there's got to be some sort of, like, paint your own pottery place near you where you mm-hmm. can just oh, paint, yeah. like, a pre-made piece. And that's also a fun thing to do. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And also pinch pots with, like, air dry mm-hmm. clay or oven clay. Yeah. You can make, like, which with your hands. Yeah. Polymer, polymer, polymer clay. Polymer clay. But you know what? I can't get that stuff to... It, like I tried to do a polymer clay thing, but it was so hard, and I couldn't get it to like soften without just completely melting. Yeah, Mia made a mushroom out yeah. of polymer clay, and she had the same issue. She was like, "It's really hard to mold." Yeah, yeah, it's not easy to work with. Mm-hmm. Another fun DIY that you can try is to make a your own trellis, like with small pieces of wood or bamboo with some twine Mm -hmm. i know becca de la plants has a video on this from a very long time ago oh yeah that we're gonna link in the show notes Mm -hmm. Um, she does yeah (laughs) so that's something that's that gives you that sense of accomplishment and then you're not having to buy a trellis at the store you know it's useful can you even do that with like sticks from a tree Oh, probably. I mean, they'd rot eventually. But, yeah. I mean, all of it. But the, the bamboo would also rot right. eventually. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a very I inexpensive mean, trellis. If pro you can tip, grab some sticks from... Pro tip is to use that water sealer that I've used on my bamboo. It's like a no. little... It's, so, yeah, that might help. But, I mean... Do you think that would work for sticks? Yeah, because it just kind of creates like a barrier on it. You might need to, like, yeah, shave off the bark it. if it's, like, a stick that has bark. Like, shave it off yeah. a little bit. But, um, 
but you can like Nicole said you can just like customize all your trellis so you, if it you can make something that will fit on your shelf if the other trellises that you can buy don't so it's super handy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah my next one is making fake plants this is something that I have recently gotten into like I guess just as I'm thinking about how I don't have that many plant spaces outside of my sunroom, I've been wanting to make my space green because I do crave greenery, but mm-hmm. I don't want to subject a plant to like a not great life. Right. So, which Nicole can relate to. Yes. But, um, so yeah, I've been making felt plants, paper plants. I have two tutorials on my channel that I've done and those are the only three times that I've done it. And I want to do more because I bought this book. It's called, and I don't remember, but it's by Corey Beth something. Her I don't know her last name, but we'll link it in the show notes, this book. But it's just making paper plants that are hyper-realistic. And if you look at this woman's Instagram, first of all, she is in a lot of ways like exactly what I want to be because she sews, she crafts. She has like features. She got a feature in like Better Home and Garden magazine oh. or something. Like, she's made it. She's amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> she just like <laughs> loves plants and she sews. And I feel like we're kindred spirits. But <laughs> anyway, so I bought her book and I made an Adansonii out of her book. And she has like stencils or whatever that you can like trace out and like make a bunch of leaves and stuff. And ways to like manipulate the paper and like use gel pens and I don't know just like craft items to make realistic plants and she has a really big uh, well not really big but she has a tutorial for a fiddle leaf fig and I'm gonna try it because it's like half paper mache you know like you get like a pole and you paper mache it to look like a trunk and then you have the tree and I'm gonna try it I paper mache when. is pretty cool. Yeah, she does a lot of paper mache stuff. That's cool. I need to um, follow her. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool inspo. But yeah, and that's paper, you know? I mean, you can use lots of different types of paper. I used like scrapbook paper the first time I did it, and it wasn't like the best paper to use, so I'll probably use her recommended product next time. But in any case, there's lots of ways to like, like some of her plants look real. Like her Pilea peperomioides you would not even know that's fake like there's so many that Mm -hmm. unless you got close you would just never know that's amazing it's so hard to find fake plants that look realistic i know so hard yeah yeah so i've had several people like in the backgrounds of my videos ask about my adansonii in my bedroom because i mean up close you know it's fake i don't think it's like a very good fake plant off of her tutorials like i didn't do that great i love that plant i love that though yeah Yeah, it's cute i'm I'm proud of it. Hers look better, but like I'm, I am proud of mine. It looks really nice. It was just fun. Yeah, it was really fun. And you're getting you're having people ask about it, and you're like, "That's paper, honey. It's fake, and I made it, baby." <laughs> Listen, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll link that down below if you're interested. But there's lots of like felt plant stuff, um, like felt succulents. I don't know. Yeah, I just find it fun to make plants. It's like a converging of my two hobbies. Yeah, that's it is it is cool. Yeah. I love your videos. Yeah, thank it you. It made me want to try it. Like I was on Amazon ready to purchase some stuff. Yeah. I actually went you to the did store. Make some paper. Yeah, I did. I went to the store and I found this kit. It was just like one of those spur spur of the moment purchases. It was like sixteen bucks and you can make three paper plants and they gave you everything you needed to make. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll link that below too. But yeah, like that video was great. Link we'll link your video too, because I yeah. liked that video. Yeah, it was fun. It was different, but it was fun. I'm not crafty at all. So, like, I had people being like, well, maybe you could have did this with the plant wire, but great video. And I was yeah, like, anyway, that's what I should have did. <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that, that's what that uh, flower stem tape stuff was for. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Watching that was so funny. Like, it's not even sticky. But it's funny because I had the same thought when I first used it. Yeah. Like, when I used it on the paper at Insonia, I was like, this isn't even sticky. Like, <laughs> yeah. But then I started rolling it onto the wire, and I was like, oh. Yeah, you have that, like, <laughs> oh, there oh, it okay, is. light bulb. It sticks to itself. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY episode. And head over to Instagram on at Potted Together. And uh, our post today, tell us a DIY that you love to do. 
if this if you've done one of the ones we mentioned let us know but also if there's another idea um post it there so then everyone can uh combine the ideas and have more so mm-hmm. <laughs> just really muddled through take that a photo. one <laughs> <laughs> take a photo of your diys and mention yeah. us on instagram as yeah. well yeah. yeah we could do a highlight reel of diys oh that would yeah, be fun that'd be fun yeah so show off your work people you put you put your blood sweat and tears into it show it off <laughs> but don't forget to tag us at pot it together <laughs> don't forget to tag us or we will never see it <laughs> we want to enjoy. Um, and other than that, you can follow us all individually. Becca is De La Plants. Nicole is My Clean Leaves. And I am at Not Dude. And also our YouTube, Potted Together. Thank you so much for joining us today. And make sure you give us uh, a rating, a th- you know, thumbs up. No, not thumbs up. Just the rating. Five <laughs> stars only. And uh, Spotify and Apple Music. No, Apple Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to hop off this struggle bus and we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products.